Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be unboxing the October Fairy Loop box. <laughs> Guys, it's been over a month since I've posted a video and I just quickly wanted to apologize for that, but I have my reasons. Uh, first of all, university sucks at this point. Like, I don't like what I'm doing at the moment, so that has taken a lot of my attention. Then my camera sort of like died on me, like it didn't want to record any more videos, but we fixed the problem uh, and I've been having a couple of other distractions. <laughs> Today I am back with the October 2018 Fairy Loot Box and I'm very excited to unbox this one. I did unsubscribe from Fairy because I am a poor student like this box cost me quite a lot of money I don't know if this will be my last box or if November's box will be my last but it just it costs a whole lot of money like I cannot afford this I don't have a job <laughs> but I always just really really like them so incredibly much so it makes me sad that I have to cancel the subscription also because my last couple of unboxings have been getting a lot of views and I just wanted to say thank you for that right now I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna start unboxing the box and I have coffee with me in one of my favorite mugs and um yeah Oh yeah, I love this spoiler card. So the theme of this month is Beautiful Deceptions. I'm not gonna look at the spoilers, but I mean, look at this art print. I see a candle! And this one is called Elin Ashriver Gladthenio Plus. And I know that Elin, well I'm not gonna spoil it because I know who this character is, but I haven't continued on with the Throne of Glass series, so this is supposed to smell like lemon for Bena, for Bena, I don't know how to pronounce this, and fire. I hope that it will smell so much like lemon because I love citrus. Ooh, this is my type of candle, honey. It's really fresh, it's not too sweet, smells very lemony. 100%, this is a yes for me. This is an item from, I believe, the September box or August box, and they misprinted this flag or banner thing that you could hang on your wall. When people say impossible, they usually mean improbable. The unusually was misspelled on the first banner. It had two S's instead of one, so I'm happy that they reset this one and it still looks really cute. The Grisha, Masters of the Small Science. So these are pins, and I've only read Shadow and Bone from the Grisha trilogy, but I do have the other two books, plus I also have Six of Crows. The pins feel really smooth and are kind of like matte, so those are pretty. Ooh, then we have a packet of tea, which I really like. We've had tea from this company before. So this is called the Tea Leaf Company, Ren's Secrets. Where do I know this name from? I'm gonna look it up in the spoiler card later. Green and mint tea. Ooh, I can kind of smell it and I'm not the biggest fan of mint tea so that's a shame but I'm still gonna try and drink this because I don't know it might be delicious it's just that mint tea is not my favorite oh wow <gasps> This is a really, really pretty keychain. Stories keychain. Isn't that what stories do? Make real things fake and fake things real. By Marie Rutkowski. Marie Rutkowski from The Winner's Curse. This is the prettiest keychain I've ever had. Uh, plus the quote that I just told you guys is on the keychain and it is such a pretty design. Oh my god, this is one of the prettiest things that I've ever received in a fairy loot. What is this? This feels really heavy. I feel like these are cards again. If I cannot be better than them, I will become so much worse. The Cool Prince by Holly Black, which I've read and it was a really, really good book. It has a very, very pretty insect design on it, which I also love from the book. And these are indeed cards, I think. Ooh, I see a really pretty artwork. I feel like the characters are like the special tokens or whatever. Damn, I don't remember all of their names anymore, so that's a shame, but I'm just gonna show them to you guys. Prince Cardin, probably the main character, which I've forgotten her name, and then some other like side characters, which were like douchebags. So it's really cool that they gave a card game in here. In my July Fairy Loot box, I received a card game set of Harry Potter, but now I can have one pair of cards here at home and then the other one in my dorm. I see socks. <gasps> the Deceptive Queen's exclusive socks. Ooh, these are inspired, I think, by the Red Queen Quartet, I think it is. I've read Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard and I liked it, but not enough to continue on with the series. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that these are inspired by that series and I'm just gonna wear them as just regular socks because socks are great. <laughs> I think we have one more item in this box and it's a beanie? It is, yes! And this one is inspired by Six of Crows. It says, no mourners, no funerals. And I just got that book and look at that. I just wish it was like red or something because I still need to have kind of a red beanie. Let's put it on. <laughs> Kind of like beanies on me, but then again I don't, so... <laughs> Especially if you get it off of your head. My hair looks great right now, honey. 
work it. <laughs> Let's get on with the book. I have absolutely no clue what it's going to be. You see that it has really, really pretty spray pages. They're pink right now. Until so far, the past couple of months, they've been doing amazing things with their books, like sprayed pages or an exclusive cover, or the book is even signed by the author. So let's see what special things Fairy Loot has, um, has in mind, has in has in store for us right now. Okay, so the book is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. I hope that I'm pronouncing her name correctly, and I'm pretty sure I added this to my to be read list a couple of months ago because I just saw this on Goodreads. It had really great ratings, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Ooh, and it is signed by the author. That's also great. It's a very long synopsis inside of the book and I just want to keep this video kind of short and quick and uh, I will definitely leave a link in the description bar down below so you guys can read the synopsis on Goodreads. I've just heard so many great things about it and I love this cover. It's like rainbowy and then... Mm. So that was my October Fairy Loot unboxing. All of the information about the items and the shops where they came from will be in the description bar down below as well as all of my different social media pages. Because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads but I also have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address and links to those will also be in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!